Hey, man! Welcome back! Hey guys, welcome to another Le Box Ring episode. You have to tell the episode number, douchebag. <laughs> episode 10. Hey, how was it? Was it good? Yeah, you did good. Hey guys, how are you doing? In this one, we are going to create the clear reflection pass. Uh, we simply grab a copy of the previous renderer we have created and paste it over. For this clear reflection pass, I don't want to use the gold reflect shader we've created before. Instead, we will create a new one. Move over to this box where it says skull reflection shader and drop in a reflect material. Then drop in a replace material and hook the reflect material into it. The replace material goes into our renderer. Add a blend material and set the color to black. Hook it into the reflect material and it will automatically go into the background material slot. Just in case, make sure to set the specular intensity to zero. We're gonna assign another HDR image now. This time we're gonna use the one at the bottom. We need the sphere map tool here as well, so copy it down here and hook in the HDR image. Then branch out from the sphere map tool, Alt release on the reflect material and choose reflection color material. Let's have a quick look at our material. Yeah, I like that. But how does it look on our skull? Let's get our skull and see. Make some space here and branch out from this router and hook it into this replace material. Let's view this. Now this looks a little bit sad, doesn't it? Yeah, give it some sweetness. Okay, select the reflect material and set the face on strength to 0.34. Now this looks pretty good, but we can bring this even further. Yeah. By adjusting the HDR placement, we can try finding much nicer reflections. Don't underestimate this step. It will have a dramatic impact in the way your reflections will look. Before we do this, let's just place them skulls into the viewers. I would say the golden one into the left and uh, the clear reflection one into the right viewer. And navigate to the HDR image area. I like the reflections uh, for the gold material, so I won't touch it. But for the clear reflection material, I feel that the reflection can be more dramatic. So let's tweak a few parameters here. Select the sphere map and set the X to 61.818, the Y to 114.54, and for the Z to 18.18. .18. Now you want to play this through so you to make sure it looks good throughout the whole animation. Okay, I think this is looking rather nice. So um, let's continue. Uh, oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, there are just two little things that my fella just told me um, I want to do before we move on. Uh, so if you take a look at this HDR image, you can see this black area here. It could cause some problems. So uh, let's just uh, make it nice and clean and get rid of it. Select the HDR image and add a transform tool. Uncheck the U size and aspect and then simply scale this down a bit by grabbing the green transform gizmo here. We can also move it a little bit down. Next, just for the consistency, I want to match the different resolutions of the HDR images. You can see this one is at uh, 3000 by 1500, while this one at the bottom is 2000 by 1000. Add a resize and resize it to 3000 by 1500. And don't worry, it won't change your reflections. So this looks already good, but let's see, perhaps we could add a color correct note and uh, to tint and add more contrast view it and set the saturation to 0 0.2666 and for the tint 
0.5389 and a strength to 0.0302. The master gain is set to 0.919 and for the gamma choose 0.2476. I don't know what I'm doing here guys to be honest. The gamma itself would be enough probably I guess. Anyway this concludes this pass so let's move on to the next pass. My name is Vito, I'll see you soon. Until then, enjoy what you're doing.